taking so long. All right, guys. So uh, this is going to be my banless prediction as well my KC Cup results. So let's go and show you guys what we got. So we finished in the top 300, 35k uh, DP. Not too bad. Reach rank 21. Uh, this is the deck we were using right here on the right. And I think I could have went to 4k. I just stopped at 35. Uh, but this deck is really good going turn 1 uh, versus Orcus. Because uh, you can draw your warding points pretty easily. You have the IDP as well. And Needle is pretty good since the other decks in the format like Speed Wars and Ana. So we only played two Needle. But uh, maybe if Orcus gets hit you can cut this to up to three. Uh, only two four main, three Candinas. I've seen a lot of people try White Princess with Trick Stars. Maybe I gotta give that. But yeah, I think 35k, not too bad. We'll see where we can end up in the next case, guys. And let's go ahead and get into Banless Predictions, guys. Banless Predictions. So, uh, I've seen a few Banless Prediction videos. There's a few cards that have been discussed quite a bit. I'm going to discuss all the cards I've seen, skills, all of that. So, let's see if what we're going to get here. So, I believe what we're going to do here, or what we're going to start off with is... Alright, so we're going to be starting off with Orcus, guys. So, obviously, everyone knows it. Everyone wants it. Here we go. Nightmare Mermaid. We want this card banned. We'll see if it does it banned. Uh, but yeah, I believe it should get banned. If not, uh, people are going to be pretty upset. We will see though, we will see. But that is one option that I think most people are going to pick it. It's a free to play card. Was it a mistake? Yes. <laughs> but Konami can fix their mistake. Uh, also, I'm expecting the ban list maybe tonight, so this take about right before uh, the ban list drops. So do keep that in mind. Hopefully, at least. I mean, if we have to wait more days, we have to wait more days. The next thing, honestly, I don't want to see Ibley's limit 3. I want Ibley to go limit 1 as well. I think this card to limit 1. It's just two talks, guys. Ibley is way too toxic. Especially like versus deck that can't run out like Resonators, Speedroids. Like Ibley's just too good. They either need to change the skills to be able to play around Ibley. Especially can you search it with cards like Sign Up Mining. And you could just make your like, If they don't nerf Ibley and like the best deck is Speedroids. I mean people are just gonna be running Ibley anyways they can. Uh get it. Alright. Now on to the other Orcus hit. So I believe I want to see this uh, go, guys. Uh, so if we look at a card like Marae, right? Um, Marae of Greed. I believe that's oh, however you spell this card. Moray. You see, they limit this to one. Shuffle two water monsters into your hand and draw three cards from your hand to the deck and draw three. I want them to limit the orchestrated return as well to one. Limit this spell card. Uh, how are you? <laughs> right here, the one. Oh, there's Babel. Where's return? Where's return? Uh, that way they can't play it with either... Uh, they can't play with Babel. And they can't... Yeah. And if Remember is, ba is a band, 100% put this card to 1. It's broken. The advantage they can pull off with this card, it helps like... What problem Orcus has is a brick, but this card helps with the brick quite a bit. Insane. So yeah, that is... Orcus, uh, hit this to one, hit Ibley to one, then Mermaid, so two limit ones. And then I want even more, I want even more, guys. So now, we're gonna go into limit 
threes. Cause we need Orcus to not be able to play limit threes, guys. Cause it they're a little too crazy. They can play mind control limit threes, they can play everything. So I want them to limit three heart. Can I have limit three harp? They could go because harp's an SR card, they might just decide to limit the rares. So it may be maybe we could say limit three of a combination of like nightmare uh orc nightmare and orcus skeleton put those both to limit three uh so they can only play you probably still want to play two nightmare because if you draw uh one of them it's gonna be pretty hard but if you don't play mermaid maybe you play one but yeah hit nightmare or orcus nightmare and Crystal Skeleton, or some other combination of two Orcus cards. One could possibly be there as well. Uh, two to limit three so that it lose access to the limit three. When we take a look at Odd Eyes... I don't know, I I'm on the fence if I want the skill to be br to like... If they I either want them to hit the skill to where they can't play other archetypes that like Onomax, Orcus, but then they can't play a text like Genzo and like the, which is fine, I guess. But Pirates is still a good deck. Is it tier worthy? Maybe. Will they hit the odd eyes still? We'll just have to wait and see about that one. So I either want them to do that, and people are saying if they hit the skill, that is fine. But if they don't hit the skill, then we must see a hit to this card, Pendulum Call. And it is in a structure, it's free to play. So we're either, we either want to see this go to... Uh, I mean, I guess I just search popular cards. We either want this to go to two or three. So hit head call to two or three. Uh, play three. Uh, or I guess it could do two. The thing is, if you do three, they lose access to their limit threes. Because they're going to be wanting to run three pen call for sure. And they also do have Wisdom Eye. I could definitely see them hitting pen call uh, to try and get people to go in for Wisdom Eye. Because there's a free to. It would make it the deck more pay to win as well. So it's like perfect for Konami to hit this card. Uh, forcing people to go into Wisdom Eye. But it would nerf the consistency, which would be nice. And people would need to play, need to run more was demise, so they'd have to go in for more. So I don't know if I want them to actually now, but we'll see. We'll see what they do with the uh, odd eyes. But I think the easiest way would probably just be to hit the odd eyes skill. That way you don't have to worry about uh, pendulum call. All right, now we're gonna talk about other decks. All right, here. So that was odd eyes and Orcus. I think Speedroids and Rockets are the other um, decks I've been hearing about. So let's go and see what we got here. So for Speedroids, I think the hit that people most want to see is for Fugo Madoshi Piper, uh, or however you say it, <laughs> Madoshi. This card right here to get hit either two. I mean, I think most will want this card to get hit to one, which would make this card basically unplayable because you're going to be running. You would 100% have to run uh, Crystal Wing and Speed Roids. So I don't know if I. Maybe I, I could see maybe this get hit to limit three. I don't want. I think limit one's a good idea just because. Um, I feel like it is a speed card. It is one of the better ways for speed roids. If speed roids are just too new, I think to like, yeah, I think speed roids are just too new to get this to. Uh, they they basically lose the access to one to three, which is fine in my opinion. Um, I've also seen rockets. So some things I've seen for rockets is silver rocket getting hit to three. Uh, do I like that? I mean, if it, if they do if they do nerf odd eyes and other decks, like they hit work is hard enough. It all depends on how hard they hit work is. If they don't hit work is hard enough, 
and they nerfed other decks, I'm not gonna be happy. So we have to hope that they hit Orcus hard enough. If they do, then maybe we can see Silver Rocket go to limit three. So that way Rockets lose access from Pol- uh, I mean, you really only need one Silver Rocket, I guess. You could replace it with other Rockets, too. So you probably still run two Limit 3s. And uh, you could run a Silver Rocket as well. But force them to play other Rockets? I mean, if they hit this to 3 of on, do I think it's necessary? I don't know. I don't know if they should. Uh, like I said, it all depends. The main thing with this card right here, right, is the skill. Uh, it turns up a lot of skills. Auto skill, go in turn one. I feel like there's a bug. There's also like a... It, it is a little tough to get rid of an extra card when we only have 8 slots in the extra. Oh, I guess I could get rid of a uh, Nightmare Mermaid times. And finally, the last one I've been saying is Needle Ceiling. I don't want Needle Ceiling to get hit. I'll be real. I've got three of them. <laughs> it's an old card though, so they might, but I feel like there's been plenty of opportunity for where people have been wanting me to get hit. Is it the time for me to get hit? I'm not sure. Uh, it really good. It's gonna be, I think the thing with this is if they hit Orcus and Speedroid and Odd Eyes are the best deck, decks, uh, then we would want Needle Ceiling in the meta to be able to counteract them. So I don't want Needle Gear, guys. But I have seen the people hit say Limit 3. I want to dodge that. I say no ban or, or no like to Needle. And then finally Sealed Tombs. Oh, let me just get a Gravekeeper card here to represent it. Uh, I think the skill should be... May, like, you'd have to activate it at the start of your turn uh, so that it affects both players. That way, Abyss Actors, just like those, can use them that don't rely on the graveyard. But it seems a little unfair if you're playing a graveyard reliant deck to be able to just cosmic yourself and then have no, no consequence at ever and just basically floodgate your opponent. So, yeah, hit Sealed Tomb stuff. Act, have to activate your start turn and affect both plays. There you go, guys. That is my ban list prediction slash wish list and KC Cup results. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.